go for the Ari here. Yeah, so the Ari is going to be locked in. Is that an insta-lock? Okay, there we go. So the Gwen going to be locked in here for Zeus. Something that has been picked into him in the past, but I, I won't uh, won't talk about it too much if you are. Drake should mean the scuttle here as well from Weiwei. He's getting double duty done. And they are going to be able to grab this off the back of their very, very, very supreme control of this bottom lane. Yeah, this all goes back to the level one. Uh, Light and Chris playing it out early on very, very well. And one of the things that we haven't really talked about yet uh, that the Draven can struggle with is not having a jungler that can enable you. As I say, that owner is in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward. The needlework is out. Snip, snip. Going to connect, but doesn't do too much. And in goes Ona. The flash oh! Oh, was incredible from the shy. Ona Woo! gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health, but will be able to walk away. But I don't think he's going to be excited about ganking the shy anytime soon. Although Zayas is just going to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he eat in, right? You could just stay at your tower and farm it up. He didn't want to lose the wave, but he's the one who goes aggressive. Now he's going to get zoned off the bot wave, so T1 Whoa. punishing so heavily here. Yeah, the flash forward from Carrier finds the handshake this time. The Infernal Chains come in. He's lit on fire. He's feared, and Kumayushi cashes in. It's the Shy getting way down in this game now as Weibo have their bot lane up top. Zayas will not be an easy dive here. He is healthy and he's got the ultimate back. They're going to look for it, though. Yeah, we'll see what he can get done here. The Flash Twisted Advance comes in. And now Zayas just trying to do what he can to stay alive. It's working! And he's going to be able to dash back towards the minions. Now Faker turns up. He's got his own nature's grasp. But Shahu is going to join this one. And Zayas is running the wrong direction. We'll see how much time he's going to be able to buy here. Because maybe this is an execute as he heads toward the turret. And there it is! Oh! Oh my god, everything is going T1's way. It's the Shy. Now shows up in his third lane. Top lane didn't work. Bot lane. We know it's not going to be a Chemtech oh. Soul, so it should be a good one. Yeah, and it's also going to be a teleport in T1. Not wanting to give this one up as Faker turns up. Nature's Grasp going to guarantee the dragon, the hostile takeover. Five and not been able to claim that big title they've been chasing with Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light going to be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in though as well. He's going to collect the first with the help of Ona. The side get even more gold in their pockets prior to it. Snip, snip, snip. And oh down goes the turret. That is the first one of the Woo! game. He is looking completely unanswerable. He is so far ahead. And the majority of metrics right now as the Rift Herald is going to park itself in the mid lane immediately that turret bot lane should be answered and there goes the charge so T1 crisp gonna be spotted but he does put that ward down that is going to get there the Drake going down very very low and now the paranoia comes in Baker looks for the spirit rush and he does find it. the hostile takeover is massive as they get rid of light immediately way way taken down for the double kill for Ona Xiao now trying to get some damage in the back end it does take down the Nocturne but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the in this game. And it's again, I think, that sense of desperation. They don't have a great vision set up. They don't know from which angles to oh, yeah, badly yeah. this early game started. He has been cashing in and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one that H's grasp. They all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through their hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage. And it looks like T1, they don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get oh. it. He goes forward and then just explodes. And then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne, and he survives. In game number two. It's really hard as well, considering the fact that T1 had already built themselves a 1 3 1 composition. There is no comp in the game. Things like Lee Sin. I think that has been somewhat indicative of what T1 have wanted to do here at Worlds and the meta shifts that they have brought in as owner, maybe looking for a fight. Being able to see these iconic picks and their comfort is working out so well. Oh, paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Ona was tanking it up and Zayas is going to finish it in a turret should now be next on the clock and because the rest of T1 is standing guard Weibo can't try first it becomes very hard to contest and right now that's not the case yeah they're definitely not there first the Baron is down very very low there's the paranoia as they look to try and burst down the Baron they do collect it and now the hijacked ultimate comes through from Baker now Zayas dives in he's taking matters into his own hands he hasn't taken any damage Weibo has to run away he gets thrown back by the Bramble Smash, but the damage is already being done. Faker goes gold and does have to flash as Light's doing a fair bit of work with these Rens into the back line. But T1 just took a Baron and they got five out. And in character necessarily, he's just been able to sit back 
It's because of the cloud drakes! The presses are, you don't know how many people are coming, you don't know how many people are responding, and T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shiva. They dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds. Isaias just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death. It's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor. It might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake. Oh God, this guy is going crazy in the finals. Just and extraordinary.